What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So, I've been having issues with cold starts on cold days with my GT with E85. Um, it's a common issue. It's nothing new, but it does get kind of annoying during this time of year, especially when you daily drive the car. So, I got that taken care of. I got it resolved. It's no longer an issue. So that's what today is about. I'm gonna talk about that. And also, is it safe to run E85 year round? Talk about that also. Um, and then I'm gonna go out and go retest a few local E85 stations that tested bad previously in the past because they're super close to me. They're a lot more convenient, um, but I avoid them or I have been avoiding them because they tested really, really, low like lower than they should so i'm going to retest those top off my 85 with the stuff that i have and then talk about if it is safe if you have a car that's on 85 if it is safe or if you should run it year round so uh let's get into it all right so to put in perspective the stuff that i drive about a half hour for to get the 85 on this car is still tried and true and tests really really good i don't know if you can see that but that's like e89 e88 uh, and it's consistent. It doesn't drop or it hasn't since I've ran 85. It's been consistency or sorry. It's been con consistent High 88 high e88 e89. So that's why I want to go to these other places that are just Half the distance to go to the place that I get this stuff here because if it's test higher Maybe they just had a bad batch then I'm gonna go to those places to try them out if it's at least at least e80 if it's not at least E80, then I'm just going to continue going to where I'm going because, well, this stuff tests really good. Okay, so as I said, I've been having pretty significant, I don't know if you call them issues, but just the common problems that come with E85 cold days with the starting. It would take two, three, sometimes four times to start. Uh, so I reached out to Palm Beach, who I had my uh, tune through, let them know the situation, they sent me a revised tune, wham, bam, uh, uploaded the tune and haven't had any issues cold starting whatsoever. It starts like a car on 93 wood. It's just, a, it's a lot more aggressive. It's loud. You know how like with 85 starts, it's really not that, I guess you say impressive or loud. It kind of starts off kind of slow and burbly. None of that with the revised tune that I got from Palm Beach. So if any of you are running into the same issue with it's not starting right away on cold days, and for me, cold days here, I've noticed it's an issue when it's around 50 or below. And the colder it is, the more times it might take for it to turn over, if it even turns over at all. And the reason for that is the colder it is, it takes longer for the ethanol to vaporize. So I don't know what they did. They um, added timing out of I don't know. I'm not a tuner, but so far, no issues with starting. So, no more problems. All right, so a lot of people this time of year when it's colder out and there's just not a lot of car stuff going on, tracks are closed, this, that, and the other, the uh, people who usually are on E85, in most cases, not all of them, but in most cases, we switch back to 93, just because there's really not a whole lot of a point to stay on on 85 if you're not tracking it, going to the drag strip, especially if it's a daily driver. Um, so we switch back to 93 because it's more convenient. Um, and a lot of times people have the conception or the the thought process that if you run 85 year round it's not good for the fuel system in the car and with these cars uh, specifically that's not the case because um, I was on the fence about it I wasn't 100% sure about it um, a lot of people I've uh, seen with comments of the previous videos I've posted with that had to do with uh, my 
tune on E85 has stated that it's not good to stay on E85 year round because it's not good for the fuel system because of the ethanol content in it. Uh, it's just not good overall. Um, so I've contacted Palm Beach and I had that discussion with them and the only thing they said is the only way it's not good in the car is if your car sits for an extended period of time so example this time of year a lot of people put their cars away in the garage so if your car is on e85 and it's sitting in the garage for two three four months at a time uh that's when it can't be good for the car and the fuel system you have it in the car now if you daily drive the car like i do and it's it's consistently flowing uh, through the tank and the fuel system not an issue at all to stay on E85 year round it's not gonna be a problem just could be like any other fuel you stick in the car up at the pump um, and that's kind of the feeling I had already God, people are slow um, I never felt it was an issue so for anybody that was unsure of that that has a car currently on 85 and you want to switch back to 93 if the pumps are convenient and close to you uh if you're not going to have the car sit for an extended period of time i would recommend maybe keeping on 85 if going to the gas station a little bit more frequent is not an issue uh, so that's why i'm going to this other uh, gas station who has 85 which is literally on, on the other side of the highway just to see if it's testing a little bit higher and I have a feeling it's not I have a feeling it's still gonna be crap but it's always good to just every so often test maybe they got a bad batch so for anybody that's well they weren't quite sure if you haven't already contacted your tuner or that's Palm Beach Lund whoever they're probably all gonna tell you the same thing as long as the car doesn't sit it's okay it's not gonna be an issue to have your car on on E85 year round all right so this gas station i pulled up to i did a video on testing this place when i first switched over to 85 and i want to say it tested low 70s it was like e70 maybe at best and palm beach told me to just stay away from anything that low you could safely probably go 75 or higher but obviously the closer to 85 the better i've been lucky i've been above that so anything is close as close to as close to 85 or higher the better quality it is so i'm going to test this again real quick i got my little uh i brought this with me i'm going to test it here um hoping it's going to be higher but um i haven't heard a lot of good things about this this particular gas station when it comes to the 85 so i'm assuming it's all going to be the same shit so we'll see Okay, so I just topped this off, and uh, so far, it's reading better than last time. Um, I'll s if you can see what that says, you're about E, I don't know, E78 or so. So the last time, I gotta go back and look. I think I was right around, I wanna say I was right around E70, so it was pretty low. So E78 is not that bad. This is actually pretty good if i can't get to the other gas station this one here is like like i said super super close this is something i might consider so the reason why i'm doing this is just to let everybody know and to remind them that um, it's always good every so often test your 85 gas stations because even the ones that usually test good might get a bad batch so every so often test it like i did at the start of this that's still red e88 e89 this is about 10 points lower ish E78, which still is not terrible. You could put this in your car and you should be fine. So I recommend stay away from anything that's below E75. So so I ran this test. We're looking right around E78, E79 or so. So glad I went back and glad I uh, glad I gave it another shot. So for anyone uh, that was wondering what gas station this was, if you're in the Dallas Fort Worth area. This is the Valero gas station across the street from Bucky's. Like literally across the street. That's Texas Motor Speedway. Right over there. So that's uh what just tested. Oh can... that's what just tested at E78. So if anyone is close by, if it's local to you, that might be an option for you because it's uh a lot higher than what it tested for me previously.
All right, so as I said at the start of this, if you're on 85, you comp if you're thinking about switching back and forth or switching back to 93, because you think it might not be safe for the car to keep it on there consistently year round, that's just not the case. The only bad thing about keeping it on 85 is it, on E85 is if the car sits for an extended period of time. Now, what's considered an extended period of time? Not really sure. I would imagine anything over like a week and a half, two weeks, to where the car just sits and you don't start it up and it doesn't get everything flowing. So that would be my guess. I don't have a 100% answer on that, but I would talk to your tuner in regards to that and also talk to your tuner if you're having the same startup issues on cold days with 85 uh, they can definitely adjust your tune like with I have here with Palm Beach um, not an issue whatsoever it could be 30 outside and it's gonna start up just like it would on 93 so I know that sometimes steers people away when it comes to 85 is the issues on cold days with cold starts Talk to the tuner if it hasn't already been taken care of already and you shouldn't have any issue with that whatsoever. All right, so on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close this out. Happy New Year. If you guys are watching and if you're not subscribed, please do me a favor, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, and drop a comment. But uh, on that note, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya, bye.